Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the social media presence of your Etsy shop. I've done videos like this in the past, but they have pretty much been antiquated. There are better ways to do it today, and I'm going to show you the easiest way to set it and forget it so that your social media takes care of itself. And we're going to use make.com to accomplish this. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. You're going to be amazed at how easy it is to do. So let's get to it. All right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to blow your mind with how easy this is. First things first, use the link at the top of the description to open your make.com account for free. That link is going to give you one month free of the core plan. Their core plan is what we need to use premium apps like Twitter and Instagram. So make sure you use that link and you get the free month. Now, add your name. It's really simple. Email, set a password. Go ahead, opt in, and then click sign up for free. And once your account is open, uh, you can join. You can jump on over to the scenarios page on the left hand side here. Click scenarios, and what we're gonna do is click create new scenario in the top right corner. Now, I wanted to mention very quickly that Make.com can be used for a ton, really the sky's the limit, of different things where you can integrate apps that are not necessarily connected. Maybe like every time I tweet, also create an Instagram post, things like that. You can set them up in make.com. But I thought what would be most relevant to my viewers here on this lovely channel would be, hey, why not automate our Etsy social media? So what we're going to do is click this plus button and then we are going to type in RSS, okay, RSS, and then click at the top there, RSS. Now, what we're going to do is click watch RSS feed items. Now, what we need to do is provide a URL to an RSS feed. You want to grab your Etsy shop's RSS feed. I'm going to show you how to do that. We will use the eBolo, uh, or I'm going to use for this video, eBolo Etsy shop uh, as an example. So what I did is I grabbed the URL of this Etsy shop, and then I'm going to add to the very end slash RSS. If you didn't know, you can do this with any Etsy shop. And just to show you that it works, I went, I hit enter, and you can see the RSS feed is automatically updated and propagated by Etsy for us. So now all I need to do is copy this URL and then I jump back over to make and I'm going to paste it right there at the top. And you'll notice it has slash RSS at the end that is required for this to work. So the maximum number of items returned, I'm going to keep this defaulted at one so that it doesn't generate too many posts at one time. All right, we'll keep it defaulted at one and I'm going to click OK. Now it says choose where to start. I'm going to click the last option, select the first RSS feed item. And what it does, it actually gives us a bunch of data from the RSS stream here. I'm just going to go ahead and click the one at the very top and I'm going to click OK. What we just did is we gave it some data to play with so that we can actually test this once we integrate it with our social media. So next, I'm going to hover over the right side of the RSS button and I'm going to click where it says add another module. And I'm going to search the applications that make.com supports. I'm going to type in Twitter, T-W-I-T-T-E-R. Boom, there it is, if I can spell. And it says premium tier one. That's why we had to make sure that we use the core plan, which, by the way, is $9 a month after your free month ends. And that's if you use the annual billing. So I'm going to go ahead and click Twitter. And then you have two options here, Twitter premium one and Twitter uh, legacy. So I'll go ahead and click premium one. And look at all the options we have. Like I said, make.com can do a lot, all right? This is a very useful platform. I'm just showing you one practical use case for us print on demand sellers. So I'm gonna click create a tweet. And next you're gonna have to integrate with your Twitter account. So go ahead and take a second to do that. I've already integrated with a little test Twitter account that I created for this video. Uh, integrating with Twitter, they actually have a guide for how to do that, I will link to it in the description because you do actually need to go to the Twitter uh, developer section and basically generate a way of authenticating make.com. But it only takes two minutes, guys. Literally just follow the step-by-step -step instructions the way you're doing now. And once it's all set up, all you need to do is, so basically pause the video, come back when you've got that set up, click into where it says text content, and you can customize your tweets, guys. But the minimum you need to do, in my opinion, is add the title. So I'm going to go ahead and click title right here. When I do that, you'll notice over there on the um, 
uh, right hand side of the screen, it adds a little bubble that says title. Now, in how I choose to structure my tweet, you can obviously do it your way. I'm going to hit return twice. And then I'm going to click URL. Okay, now I actually don't need to worry about adding an image because Twitter, if you've ever shared anything on Twitter that contained a URL, is going to scrape the source code of these product listings and it's going to grab an image from Etsy for social sharing. So all I actually need to do now is click OK. I told you guys this was going to be easy. So I'm going to click OK. And now is where I could add Facebook, right? You can click again, Facebook. Boom, they've got a Facebook. Um, and honestly, I would do a Facebook page. Okay, so I would add the Facebook pages model uh, right here. That's just my personal preference. That's how I've done it in the past. I will set up a branded Facebook page for my Etsy shop. Go ahead and add your Facebook page and then click um, create a post right here. Okay, and you have to connect your Facebook. And then, of course, you can also connect your Instagram. And you're going to have to do it, guys, through Instagram for business. Okay, if you don't know how to switch your Instagram account to a business account, you literally click the little settings icon and say switch to business account. Yes, it's that simple. Then add it to make.com and click create photo post. All right, and now connect it with make and you are good to go. It's literally what I just showed you with Twitter, except you then do it for Facebook and you do it for Instagram. Now, in order to test this, you can go ahead and click run once in the bottom left-hand corner over here on my uh, left shoulder. So I click run once, it will say, okay, we failed because of Facebook, we failed because of Instagram, but um, it should have worked for RSS and for Twitter, where it's going to go to the RSS feed you provided here. In this case, I use the Ebolo. It's going to grab the um, product that we, when we set up, okay? And I, it's going to go ahead and tweet it. Now, I already did a test tweet ahead of this with my demo Twitter account, and you can see right here a screenshot of it over my shoulder here. It went ahead, it added the uh, title of the tweet, as you can see, and it went ahead and it pulled the image of that shirt, all right? And you can actually see it should correlate with um, this shirt, I think, right here from, yeah, this shirt right here from the RSS feed for the uh, Ebolo Etsy shop, okay? So it does work, guys. It is this simple. If you connect it to more social platforms, it will streamline and automate your posts. So as you just saw me do, we connected it to Twitter, to Facebook, to Instagram. It could not be easier to get started using make.com to automate your Etsy shop's social media. And don't forget that like you can do a lot with this beyond the scope of just automating social media for an Etsy shop. But this is one that, like I said, I've done in the past. I've done it successfully. And I wanted to pass along a tutorial of how to do this. I hope you found it helpful, guys. Use the link at the top of the description so you get a free month of the core plan, which is going to be required to add all the apps that actually connect with the social media platforms that we covered. So guys, I hope you found that useful. Check out make.com and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.